I've never seen that young lady in my life before. And I've lived here 50 years. Six o'clock, John. I'm up, love. I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. Stopwatch. Can't find me stopwatch. Have you washed your neck this morning? Hey. Oh. You'll go back to sleep then, Nancy. Nancy. Mm -hmm. You'll go back to sleep. Mm. Good luck then. Thanks, I'll need it. I say thanks. I'll need it. You'll be very good. You can only do your best. Would you like to test me again with my words? It's all right. I, I think I've mastered it. It'd be too soon. I once worked with the director in Portugal. He had Guinness in his porridge at breakfast. This was Campari. Always had his hand in his trouser pocket. <laughs> Morning. 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 All right, Jean, this morning. Hey. I first got the Guardian. Oh, buggeration. Crossword? Yeah. Stop you my telegram. Midri! Extras! Top. Morning. Bye, I'll have to marge you, bye. What will have known today, thanks all the same. Drama, TV play. Has it got to begin in middle and end? I speak in this one. Never bloody do, I'm doozy. Character parts, lines and everything. Mm, bye, I'll. I'll let you know when it's on. Ah, oh, well, I don't forget. What do you reckon? Feasible? Up to you. We'll do it your way, then. Yes? I've just said. <laughs> I know. I know. Sheila Lomax. Sheila. Frida Pennington. Yeah, Cocker. Brian Clegg. As ever, sunshine. Mabel Stevens. Yeah. Mabel, are you down for second gospel and housewife? No one said. I should imagine I'm down for first gospel and housewife, in all probability. Parts will be allocated and arrive at the location. I happen to know what I was auditioned for, dear. Harold Danby. Joseph McGill. Joe. Yeah, Harold Danby. Sorry. Sorry. Leeds United. Pardon? Were you on Leeds United? Play for today? No. At Lombago. Uh, confusing you with some other party. I was asked. At Lombago. And you 
you don't want me to zoom. No, thanks. Give me a few grey hairs if you did. I don't. Well, I'm not Yuri Geller. If you want me to zoom right down to... No, I don't. You're saying if you did. No, well, I don't. Jesus. We haven't got the zoom till today. What day is it today? Wednesday, whole day. Fine. OK, fair enough. No panic. Just take my point, though. Mm. My own fault, mind you. Should have stayed on Bacardi and Baby Sham. You OK? Still feeling... Is it because of... <gasps> Went to see Murder on the Orient Express last night. Good. Some bloody comedian nicked my fishing rod out of the big my car. The trick is to think yourself warm. I.e., it is a warm day. I am consequently extremely warm. God, it's cold. Will you all get back on the coat, please, till as and when required? Everyone, please, Mrs. Lomax. Oh, sorry, Pat. If it'll save you a job and help you to choose, Mrs. Stevens and I are excellent at first and second gossiping housewife. We did it in country matters five times. Like winter, isn't it? It is winter. <clears throat> I fell asleep putting my pants on this morning. Sat on the edge of the bed to pull on my pants, and the next thing I knew, I was... Was it any cop? What? Murder on the Orient Express. Cost me over 30 quid, that fishing tackle. You can claim? Oh, claim? Ready, Phil? Big run through for Don. And me. And him. It's Bernard dropping Betty off at the gate. And the extra walking path. Old man in the street. Yeah. Yeah. Deidre! Old man in the street! Mr. McGill, please. Your arm. Now? Please. He's a speaking extra. He's got 16 words. Mm. I was with him on Family at War. We had to shout, hear, hear. He was on average. Thank you. <clears throat> See you Tuesday. Saturday. Saturday. Is that it? All right, that'll do. First thing in the morning. Come on, let's get <laughs> Bernard, I cannot hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. Thank you. Come do the line. See you Tuesday. Saturday. Thank you. Saturday. Thank you. So, we're just on YouTube saying blah, 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 blah. Do you want us to go through it? It'd be good for me. Oh, well, terrific. We're only three days behind. We'll only end up on the dole. Yes, please, Becky. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? See you... Saturday. Saturday. Is that it? Old man in the street. Oh, hell! Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, there's more. Um, sorry, old man in street comes to... Where is the old fuck? Deirdre, we're waiting! Here? Oh. Me? Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Right. Um, 
You stand over there, Mr. Mr. Uh, Miguel, Joe Miguel. Right, Joe. You start from over there. Good morning. Morning. You start from over there and you walk towards the car. It's a pleasure to have the pleasure of working with you. Thank you. You walk towards the car and as soon as she goes in, you do your dialogue with Bernard, right? Yes, Mr. Off John. you go, then. Pardon? Walk. Walk towards the car. In you go, sweetheart. How the cameras going? No, it's a rehearsal. Oh, fair enough. Good morning to you, sir. Morning. It's a pleasure to have the privilege of working with you. And action! I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. I speak first, don't I? Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after he speaks, compre? Sorry. Again, then. Action. Pretty girl, eh, Grandad, your village school mistress? I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. Was that all right for interpretation? And he sobs off. Walk past. And we tighten on Bernard for his reaction, OK? OK. Wait there, Bernard, please. Thank you. Now, OK. What? OK for me, too. Oh, good. Um, right, mate, we're doing it. Let joy be unconfined. OK, oh. girls, this is it. Chop, chop. What sort of play? For the deli. Uh, uh, is it, uh, what do you call it? Upstairs, downstairs? Yes. No. Sorry, mate. I've seen him before, he's been in something. According to the TV Times, his pet hates are man's inhumanity to man and gardening. Every man to his trade, eh? Back to working for a living. Aye. See that half dead one over there? Aye. He's in charge. Fancies himself, does he? Oh, he thinks he's God. Let there be light. Right, here we go. Right, nice. Nice and bright, everyone. Absolute quiet everywhere, please. I think I saw in the paper she's got a new nose. I hate to think what her first one looked like. <laughs> Please, ladies, very quiet. Oh, whoops, that one me. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Turnover. Sound running. Mark it. Hang about. You're just in, Colin. Is that better? Wonderful. Mark it. Hang about. There's a foreign body in... Bernard's trousers. I should be so lucky. Bernard, what's in your trousers? Just the Guardian. Still running. Don? Yeah. Two, four, one, take one. OK, Don. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? See you Saturday. Pretty girl, eh, Grandad? Your village school mistress. I've never seen. Cut! Cut it. Um. Jimmy? Sorry? Jimmy, is it? Joe. Joe Miguel. Old man in the street. Joe. I had a very unhappy childhood. I'd now like it to end. Where the hell are you going? A Buckingham Palace garden party? No. From there to here. Terry! Why has he come as a Fortnum and Mason Christmas cake? Act one, scene one, page one, line one. A village street in 1940. Not, you notice, Carnaby Street in 1975. Oh, Jesus, it's all right, love. It's not important. An old jacket and a cloth cap will do. I'll get them, I'll get them. I like to keep sodding busy. I wasn't told about clothes. <laughs> All right. We're going again. Stand by. Absolute quiet, everyone, now, please. Thank you, ladies. I never opened my mouth. 
I got enough for that at home. Shh. Turn over. Sound running. Camera. Okay. Mark it. Four, one, take two. Well, thanks, thanks for the lift. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, good, it fell. Oh. What's wrong? Listen. What to? Aircraft. Where? Have we cut or what? What do you mean, aircraft? Like Big Iron Bird from Great Landing Sky. Well, I know I'm clogged up with Qatar. Listen. Okay. Stand by to go again as soon as he's gone. Boeing 707. Pan Am or Air Lingus? Lufthansa. All right, mate. But I'm only doing my job. Fine. Okay. I'm only joking. So was I. OK, then. OK. Well, it's fun, really. No bones built. Relieves the tension. Again, Terry. Going for a take! Stand by! And quiet everywhere! It doesn't mean us this time. Quiet! Turn over. So I'm running. Tom? Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Mark it. Two, four, one, take three. And... Hang on. Out oh, too quick, Jeff. Give it me again. Are we still running? One second, sweetheart. Have we cut? One second. Two, four, one, take three, sink the second clap. And... Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. Sorry, Phil. What? No good. Cut? There was a cable in shot, my hand slipped, and she got the line wrong. She got the line right? Well, there was a cable in shot, and my hand slipped. Cut. Cut, everyone! Cut it! Cut! Cut it! Bloody cut! Cut it! Cut! Jesus! How loud are we? We can't have everything we want in life, you know. OK, settle down, everyone. We're doing terrific. OK, Don? Yeah? Stand by! Quiet, everyone! Well, can I just see to bet his hairpiece as the girl keeps falling down? It's nice. I like it. It's all the rage. Turn over! Start running. Camera. Mark it! Hold on. Are we expecting hovercraft? Can't be breakfast time. Dead on. It'll wait two minutes. Oh, they won't. Great. Breakfast, everyone. Ten minutes, absolute maximum. Nine at the most. Okay. Doesn't time fly when you're having... Egg back, egg and bacon back, hamburger back. Yes, please. Smart sauce, brown sauce or onions. Yes, please. Cheer coffee. Either. Both taste like bloody cocoa. One of the hazards of the job, eh, Phil, Mr Shaw? Hmm? Technically hitches. Aeroplanes so far. What about it? I was just saying it's, it's one of the hazards of the job. Um, um, profession. Terry! <laughs> even more amenable after breakfast. I'll tell him we've been playing first and second gospel housewives ever since that car. Ever since that car. I'll tell him. <laughs> Cup of tea, please. <laughs> 
Oh, so much as look a fried egg in the face. Is this something to do with you? Or is it? Still, you're not more cheerful than yesterday, aren't you? <laughs> Provides a conducted tour of the Globe Theatre, question mark, two words. How many letters? Four and five. Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Tour, globe, round globe, theatre. Oh. Where we go then, first as we can. Lights getting dodgy. Even faster. Right, quiet everywhere. And turn over. Sounds ready. Gone. Getting darker. Mark it. Two, four, one, three, four. It's not that bad, Don. I refuse to shoot it. Just refuse. I'm sorry. I refuse. Cut. Cut! What do you think of the story so far? It'd be lovely for fishing. Ray, stop play. Decent pun that, eh? Play. Signifying TV play. Be good in your crossword. Roundhouse was wrong. It's supposed to be four and five. That's five and five. Bum, bum. All right. Agreed there. Yeah. Elbow. We do the church interior. Right. Everyone that's seen it for scene 23, the church interior. Our team's unit in miscellaneous congregation. Come on, fast as you can. I expect we'll do my scene when the weather books up. That'll be it. Can I come and watch me, seeing that I'm not in it? Sorry, we'd be like sardines and tomato. Fair enough. All right for a cup of tea, Colonel. Just looking up. Oh. Fair enough. Are you having a tantrum? Pins and needles. Circulation. I've got chill blades on the other bugger. Circulation. Terry? They're not right at all. Hmm. First gossiping housewife and second gossiping housewife. They're not real enough. They look too much like extras. They're not them. They're two housewives who happen to be gossiping. They're the extras. Yes, well, as long as they look real. Which two do you want? Any. Two at the front. Deirdre, the two at the front. First and second gossiping housewives. Official. Can I have your autograph, please? Will you make it out to Deborah? The show must go on Joe Miguel. Thanks. Tira. Bye, love. 
Old Man in the Street was played by Joe McGill. Joe McGill is a national theatre player. Joe McGill is a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company. Joe McGill appears by kind permission of the English Stage Company. Joe McGill is appearing in Sleuth at the Fortune Theatre London. I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived... Deborah, your biro! Deborah, who? Your pen, love! Oh, well, thanks a bloody bundle, mate. We're in the middle of a take. You ruined a take. Hello, Nancy. It's me. Lunch bread. Steak, kidney pie, runner beans and mashed. A bit stingy on the pie. Oh, very well indeed. It'll be a cracking little scene when we've done it. No, not yet. Technical hitches behind our control. It could be too soon. Or steak and kidney pie, you pinhead. Or steak and kidney pie. Are you all right, Jean? You wanted me to tell them that little tale about hello, the devil. Oh, did Jonas the other day? Did they? Anyway, I told them nothing about success as well. You have to have a fully as good. Just a minute, Nancy. I think I'm wanted. Yes, Colonel. Bring her out, please. I've got to ring the office urgently. I've got to go, love. Yes, for me close-ups. Oh, oh, several, I expect. I'll see you tonight. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It was a business called BBC. Mm, good, eh? Thinking. It's getting lighter. We can polish off shot 241. Uh, yes, that's what I was thinking. Frankie! Is there anyone I should know? Production manager, Ronnie Skidmore. Morning. Evening. Finished? Master done. Not yet. We've done the church interior. And this? Not yet. None of it? Not yet. He must have done the master shot. Tell him, not yet. I can't say it again. My brain's chapped. Well, what the hell have you been doing? Sunbathing. We've had our problems. Well, you've only got six days left. You'll never finish it. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. Anyway, see you. And he came to give you encouragement. Well, aren't you staying for a bit? Sorry, my holidays aren't till August. Right, everyone! I want this scene doing so fast! Your backsides will be a blur! Sorry, Betty. What for? Settle down, everyone. We're doing it this time. Straight through. No messing. No mistakes. No booms in shot. No bowings. Absolute quiet. And ten over. Sound running. Speed. Done. OK. Mark it. Two, four, one, take. Take five. Two, four, one, take five. And action. Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? 
See you Saturday. Pretty girl, eh, Grandad? Your village schoolmistress? I've never seen that young lady in my life before. And I've lived here 50 years. Shot's no good. Knock the head in the gate. Head in the gate, it's like a bit of fluff behind the lens. That's what it means. I know what it means. Still, we've done it perfect once. We can do it again. Are we downhearted? Stand by, everyone. It's no good. We're going again. Got it. Got it. I thought that you time. want to try fishing, pal? Quiet everywhere. And turn over. Down running. On speed. Don. OK. Mark it. Two, four, one, take six. Oh, sorry. My mind. Cut! No, sorry. Action! No, sorry. Yes, that's right. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. No, no. What the hell is it? An earthquake, the end of the world? Terry, what the hell are they doing out at this time? You think that they wouldn't Arthur, be Arthur, Graham, get them back. Barricade is off at the corner. <laughs> Short hair for crossroads on the Wednesday. I haven't done a crossroads yet. Don't know why. Long hair for a commercial on the Thursday. I've been up for three commercials and I didn't get any of them. And ball for the beef on the Friday. Leeds United, that was. I had to shout, Give us the bob! I've never worked for the BBC. Stand by. Quiet everywhere. And turn over. So I'm running. John. Yeah. Okay. Two, four, one, take 12. 13. Sorry. 13. Two, four, one, take 13. 
Action. Action, Betty. I'm sorry, I can't remember my line. Silly, isn't it? But I can't. Well, thanks for the lift. Oh, yes. Here's um, something. Action! Well, thanks for the lift. Thank you. What for? See you Saturday. Pretty girl, eh, Grandad? Your village schoolmistress. I've never seen the young lady in my life. Again, Jimmy. Say it again. Don't say the word young. Keep running. Go on, Jimmy. I've never seen the young lady in my life. Don't before. stress young. You sound as though you have seen the old lady before, and there isn't one. Again. I've I've never seen. I've never. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. Life before. Emphasize life. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. Again! I've never seen the young lady in my life. No, not in. In my life before. Again! I've never seen. I've, ne I've never seen the. Uh, I've never in my lady seen life before. No, no. Never have I seen young lady. lady no. I, I've never seen. Cut. Again. I've never seen the young lady in my life before. And I. And I've lived here 50 years. And cut. Big man, don't cry. Big man, don't cry. Jesus! God, it's cold. Is that okay if the camera done? Fine for me. And me. In the can, then. I've done it. Should we send up for Bernard's close-up soon? Um, are we printing that one, are we? Take 13? The most crucial scene in the play. What was your name again? Joe. Joe McGill. That, Mr. McGill, was the most appalling, disgusting, Terrible performance in the annals of acting history. Congratulations. Yes, sir. I wasn't entirely satisfied with my delivery, really. Weren't you? Not entirely. A bit wooden. Incomprehensible. And the worst bloody mess I've seen in my bloody life! And I feel as though I've lived here 50 sodding years! Never again. We could uh, move on to Bernard's close up soon. Another day. We'll virtually set up. We could do it in two minutes. Tomorrow. We'll do interior of school. Bernard calling for Betty on the Saturday.
OK, everyone, that's uh, scene 55, interior of school. Let's change your costume for Bernard and Betty. Come on, fast as you can. If you don't break a leg, you're not trying. Phil, Mr Shaw, sir. Excuse me for interrupting you. Yes, Mr McGill? Could we give it another go? I've read the play and the scenes of prime importance to the understanding of it. Why didn't you get it right, then? Well, we've been doing it over for hours and hours. That's what you're paid for. But we're not machines, we're not cameras. You had two lines to do, Mr McGill. Two! And you couldn't. It was a thirteenth take. That's all the more reason! I did the others all right. One or two of them were your. Well, not your. Do you know why you couldn't, Mr McGill? Because you're no bloody good. And that's why you're an extra. A stupid, lousy extra! A lousy, bloody extra! You stupid old bugger! You don't know that I'm stupid? No good at anything. You've only really met me today. I might be very good for all you know. I might be a very interesting person. I might have been acting long before you were born. Mr McGill, you had one important thing to do, and you couldn't. That's not real life, lad. That's pretend. We're all pretending. You're pretending. The whole damn fool place pretending. Real life is how well you pretend, isn't it, sir? You, me, everybody in the world. Well, we'll perhaps try and find the decent bits from what you did and put them together. No one will know. It'll be all right all the night. So what do you reckon to it, then? To what? Murder on the Orient Express. Have you seen it? Not yet. I went last night. Quick as you can, please, into the bus. Ready when you are, Mr McGill! Fair enough, love. Be a two-letter word beginning with X. There's no such thing. Are you sure the X is right? No. Just like to say cheerio to everyone. Bye bye, Mr. McGill. It's been a pleasure working with you. An experience. Excuse me. I'd just like to say goodbye and good luck. Oh, Bye, so, Mr. Right. That man with our Perhaps it won't look as bad as we thought when it's all put together. Oh no, no, it'll look all right. Not too bad at all, I shouldn't think. It was okay for me. Pardon? It was good for Sal. Oh really? Oh good. That's half the battle, isn't it? I suppose it is really. Just, just like to bid a. Farewell to Phil, to, to Phil and Dom. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit cramped in there at the moment. They're setting up. I just wanted to thank him. Uh, oh, not to worry. I'll drop him a line. Right. Would you say good luck for the rest of the filming from me? Sure. Mm. Right. Kids are coming at yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Fair enough. I'll say so long, then. Oh, yes. And thank you for your efficiency and courtesy. Oh, yes. I think it'll be possible in the end. The weather? Shot 241. Oh, it'll be possible. They usually are. Ah, well, then. Thank you again to you and your colleagues. My oh! Stand by and quiet, everyone, and turn over. Sound running. Okay. Two, four, two, take one. It went pretty good, the scene in the church. My scene went very well. We had a bit of technical trouble, but it was a little cracker at the end. Action! Will you? Yes. It will be a little cracker when they've tarted it up in the editing. It's amazing what they can do. I think they'll be highly surprised when they've, you know, tarted it up. Cut! <sighs> bit under the armpit, was it? What's for me? Print it. OK, thanks, everyone. Smashing. OK, it's a wrap, everyone. Home time. Another day tomorrow. You coming back with us, Deirdre? I think Colin's giving me a lift. I think he intends on making a dishonest woman of me. Yes, OK, then. Do I smell kippers? You do. Good girl. Warm in here, love. Well, how did it go? Three guesses. No, oh, I am pleased. So are they. We had a touch of double-double toil and trouble, but we got it all right in the end. I've never seen that young lady in my life before, and I've lived here 50 years. Bingo. I don't know how you do it. You just do. Did you ever get 14 across? No. I think it's an anagram. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to cut the old man in the street scene completely. Scrub it all together. I thought you said it was crucial. We'll put the same information in another scene. In reported speech. No old man. Isn't it the writer's intention to. Uh... What's it got to do with the writer? He wrote it. You had a nice day then? Well, it's a fellow's life, his job. That's the old man, though. We'll find out when it's on. We'll go round to our gardens and watch it on colour. I may go and see the sting on Saturday. I thought you said you were going fishing. Hmm. I get sick of fishing. There's nothing at the end of it all, is there? Not a lot. At the end of what? 